Plus, there's actually a cool secret feature that's been hiding in these pocket cameras. Cameras actually have a gyro sensor built in. So now you can record data from the gyro sensor. DaVinci can use this gyro data to stabilize shots. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to test the latest gyro stabilization feature on DaVinci Resolve update. Recently, I made a video of how to update the latest firmware on BMPCC cameras. Actually, this update activates an image stabilization gyro that tracks camera movement for software correction. To get this feature, you have to update your camera firmware 7.9 and DaVinci to 18 beta 5. With this update, your camera will dramatically change and autofocus will be better and faster. And one more thing, you can see all of your recording media on your screen. Focus picking also really improved. Okay guys, after the update, I have shot a small portrait video with my friend. So let's get into this. Some of these shots I've shot with image stabilized lens and some of them are without image stabilization lens like vintage lenses. So let's check. So let's check how the gyro works on the both clips. So let's get into this. So the editor one has adjustment layer with LUTs. So that's why it's getting a little bit stuck. So let's uh, work with the footage. It will be easy to stabilize and play. So unfortunately, all of these uh, shots which has taken with image stabilized lens can't access the gyro stabilization. I can only access the gyro data which I have shot with the vintage lenses. That means without image stabilization. So let's check and uh, try how's the stabilization. So this is without the stabilization and uh, it's a bit um, shaky. And it was a bit dark too sorry about that so let's try to stabilize with the gyro okay let's see how's the stabilization quality compared to the other stabilization modes okay it crops around 20 percent i think yeah, but still the the shake is there it managed pretty well and uh, Let's see without the stabilization. See, it was quite um, shaky. Uh, it's a little bit better uh, than the without stabilized short. And let's try now with the other stabilization, like perspective. Right now, I'm stabilizing with perspective. It's a bit faster than the gyro. Yeah, it's almost perfect stabilized clip than the gyro that a gyro stabilization. Let me show you the gyro one. So this is the gyro one. It's it's also OK, but it, it has still the shakiness is there. So compared to the perspective one, see it's completely sturdy. And I really like the perspective stabilization one. I hope I can stabilize those clips which I have shot with uh, the stabilized lens. If they can add an update on that, it will be so helpful. So let's try with another clip. So this I have shot with the same Helios uh, vintage lens. So let's clear the stabilization. So this is the original clip without the stabilization. And let's check how's the gyro stabilization. Uh, this is really unusable guys um it crops almost like 70 percent to 80 percent of the clip i don't recommend using gyro on this kind of close-ups and let's try now perspective stabilization pretty faster than the gyro yeah i don't recommend perspective also on this let's check the second one similarity yeah this perfectly stabilized the clip So this clip I've shot with Canon 10 to 18. So this doesn't show up the gyro option, unfortunately. So this one also I've shot with the 7200 f4, which has image stabilization. So it doesn't have uh, the option to gyro stabilized. So that's a really unfortunate thing. So I hope they will include in future updates so that's it guys that was a small tip i thought i will make a small video on that see you on another episode until then bye